When they come to the University of Michigan, students don't just think about becoming a doctor or a medical scientist, a nurse or a pharmacist, a social worker or a dentist. They think about making the world a better place. Over the past three years, our university has focused on supporting this vision by creating a new environment for students and faculty to share ideas, learn, connect, and grow. The result? Our new, improved Taubman Health Sciences Library. What was once a traditional library has transformed into a light-filled, technology-driven, dynamic learning space. Through the teamwork of Michigan's health information and health professions education leaders, the building's 137,000 square feet now encompass a broad array of learning resources for thousands of students. And the half million books that once occupied three of its six stories, they're still available on demand, both digitally and by rapid delivery. Very deliberately, this transformation took place at the same time that our medical school was developing an innovative new curriculum for future physicians. This gave us an unprecedented ability to shape their learning path and the physical space where they will pursue it almost simultaneously. Here, tomorrow's physicians can learn and apply the communication, critical thinking, collaboration, and clinical skills they'll need. With the help of faculty and standardized patients, they can prepare to join patient care teams at the university's nearby hospitals and clinics. A 30-room clinical skills suite provides a realistic medical care environment supported by advanced technology that makes it easy to guide and assess students as they learn the practical and interpersonal aspects of doctoring. Three large simulation classrooms support the introduction of low fidelity simulation through discipline-specific boot camps. Because small group learning is a hallmark of our approach to medical education, we created an array of rooms of different sizes to fit different learning styles. Fourteen new small group rooms support guided active learning with faculty course leaders and students. Three large classrooms include multiple large displays and teleconferencing ability to support IT-facilitated instruction. Our investment in technology also includes podcasting studios, dozens of individual computer stations for online testing, and flat screen displays within our 11 study rooms and three conference rooms to enable breakout sessions and group or individual study. A digital virtual dissection table with a touchscreen interface for in-depth probing of human anatomy. It puts IT to work in a new way in the service of learning. But all the technology in the world won't make a difference in tomorrow's healthcare if today's medical students learn apart from those training for other health professions and bioscience graduate degrees. Building trust, understanding, and respect during their formative experiences lays the foundation for them to deliver enhanced, team-based care as professionals and to improve care through research. So we specifically designed large, highly flexible spaces for them to come together in new ways. Here they can explore caring for patients as a team and learn from one another as well as from faculty. True to its roots as a library, the building continues to serve as a hub for information. The professionals who specialize in organizing, searching, and delivering it are right here. Called informationists, they transcend the traditional librarian role. They collaborate directly with educators, creating new approaches to teaching, researchers creating new bioscience knowledge, and students seeking to answer important questions. We also invested in the well-being of our medical students with a lounge where they can refresh and renew, and special areas to meditate or even catch a cat nap. A welcoming cafe and casual congregation spaces throughout the building help make this the hub of a bustling learning community. The new all-glass exterior allows sunlight, views of nature, and Ann Arbor's vibrant streets to permeate the new building's interior. A respect for nature extended to the building project itself, which qualified for silver lead status by stressing energy efficiency and waste reduction. But in the end, the focus of the building is on learning and on enhancing the sense of community. Because for those who learn at the University of Michigan and for those who teach at the University of Michigan, it's all about making the world a better place, one place at a time. <laughs>